Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Now you will examine some formulas that are commonly used when dealing with tables. The first functions that we will discuss are located within the lookup and reference function category. There are two primary functions within this function set that are used to look up table data. You can use these functions to look up a column value in a table and then return a corresponding column value from the same row. The first function, hlookup, will look up a data value within a table that is structured in rows with a header column at the left side. The second and far more commonly used function, vlookup, will look up data values in a traditional columnar table with a header row at the top. Now based on the layout of the table within which you are looking up data, you will need to use either one or the other to look up a data value within the table. There are three required arguments and one optional fourth argument that you must know before you can create a lookup function. Arguments are simply the additional pieces of information that a function requires in order to be performed. Now first you must know the lookup value. This will be the value that you want to look up within a table. This is most commonly a cell reference. Second, you need to know the cell range reference of the table within which you want to look up the first value. And this is called the table array. Third, you need to know the column or row index number. This is the number of columns to the right of the leftmost column or the number of rows down from the topmost row of the table within which Excel must look for the data that you want it to return. The optional fourth argument is called range lookup. This is a logical value, meaning it's either true or false, which you can enter if needed. Now if omitted, this argument is assumed to be true. What it does is specify whether or not you wish to perform a ranged lookup on the data within the database. If you need to find an exact match on your data that you're looking up, often when you're looking up text values, you can insert false for the range lookup argument to find an exact match in the table instead. So for example, let's say that you have a columnar table of customers within a worksheet. In that sheet you want to create a cell that will automatically look up a customer's address when you type a customer's company name into an adjacent cell. Assume that the first column of the table contains the customer's company names and the third column of the table contains their addresses. You can then write a function that will take the value of the cell that is adjacent to it, which is the lookup value, compare it to the customer table, which is the table array, look up the customer's company name in the first column until it finds a match, and then count over three columns, which is the column index number, to find the customer's matching address. Since we want the function to find an exact match on the customer name, we will add the false value to the range lookup argument in this case. After you've created the formula, you could type a customer name into the cell that's being looked up, and the cell into which you have placed the formula would display the customer's address after looking it up in this table. Now in this case, we would use the vlookup function because the example states that we have a traditional columnar table within which we're looking up the data. So the syntax of the lookup function is either equals vlookup or hlookup, open parenthesis, and then the lookup value, which is the cell that contains the value that you'll want to look up, followed by the table array, which is the table within which you want to look for that data, followed by the column or row index number, and then the range lookup argument, which in this case would be false.
Now when you're entering the table array value for the lookup function, it may be useful to assign it a range name or make it an absolute reference. Named ranges are always assigned as absolute references and this will ensure that the table array argument will not change if you copy and paste this formula. If you don't use named ranges, you can assign the table array as an absolute reference by typing the dollar symbol before both the column reference letter and the row reference number in both cell references for the selected cell range. Remember, if you don't do this, the lookup function may not work if you copy it to a new location within the worksheet. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.